Hi, this is Brandon from Aramax. We're here today to show you the recommended maintenance of an RP2587R single piston compressor. We recommend performing maintenance on your compressor every 12 to 18 months. The tools that are required on this unit are a 5 8 wrench, 11 16 inch wrench, a T25 Torx wrench, T20 Torx wrench, and pipe joint compound or Teflon tape. Included with the maintenance kit is a cylinder sleeve, piston cup, cylinder o-ring, two head o-rings, valve plate and pre-installed leaf valves, and two Torx head screws. First, remove the air filter from the valve plate using a 5 8 inch wrench. Now use an 11 16 inch wrench to remove the brass elbow. Be sure to take note of where the air filter is installed on the valve plate. Next, use a T25 Torx wrench to remove the four screws on the top of the head assembly. Now, remove the head assembly and set to the side. Take note of the position of the leaf valve in relation to the capacitor. This will be important when reinstalling the new valve plates. Using a T20 Torx wrench, remove the two screws on the piston cup. Next, remove the cylinder sleeve and worn piston cup and discard. Place the retaining band into the piston cup. Next, firmly push the piston cup into the cylinder sleeve. Flip over to ensure the piston cup is evenly aligned. Reinstall the cylinder sleeve onto the piston and line up the holes. Use two new screws supplied with the maintenance kit to reinstall the piston cup. Flip the valve plate over to install the new cylinder o-ring. Now install the valve plate onto the cylinder sleeve, ensuring the leaf valve is away from the capacitor. Push down firmly to secure in place. Then install the two new head o-rings from the maintenance kit onto the top of the valve plate. Next, align the head cover on top of the valve plate. Now install the four screws to secure the head cover on the valve plate. We recommend going back and forth between screws to ensure the screws are securely in place. Be sure not to over tighten. Next, reinstall the brass elbow for the air filter using the 11 16 inch wrench. It is recommended to use pipe joint compound or Teflon tape when reinstalling. Be sure to position the elbow in the upward position. Then reinstall the air filter using a 5 8 inch wrench, again using pipe joint compound. This completes the installation of the RP2587R compressor maintenance kit. Once you've completed the maintenance kit installation, it is a perfect time to replace the air filter. This should be done every three to six months. Simply hold the base of the air filter, turn the cap counterclockwise to remove, then replace the old air filter element with a new one. For more information, contact your local dealer or visit us online at airmaxeco.com.